What's up, everybody? Good morning. Happy Friday. Yeah. Friday is upon us again. It's beautiful. Anyway, hey, hit that, uh, do me a favor, hit that uh, thumbs up, that's the like, share, and please do subscribe to the channel. Growing like a mug. Yeah, I'm, hey, I want to talk with y'all about stealth parking and how. You ain't fooling nobody. Now, stealth parking, it sounds cool. Stealth. 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 I'm going to stealthily make this peanut butter sandwich. Nobody can see me. <laughs> Even though I got the lights on. But... <clears throat> Stealth parking is just like, um, I think it's meant to park as to where you're inconspicuous. Blend in with your surroundings. That's the only thing it could mean. But many who talk about stealth parking, it may be parked on the side of a road in an industrial area. Yeah. With uh, a light bar, solar panels, gear, recovery gear and stuff on top. I mean, <laughs> that speaks, that says, I live in this vehicle. <laughs> But it's okay. Stealth parking is just, it's basically meant, man, you're going to park where we're allowed. The industrial parks of cities. Um, Cracker barrels. Basically, anywhere in the city where Gotta get rolling. Basically, anywhere in the city where um, the police are not gonna mess with you. The police have accepted, or the local. Hold up, y'all. I always leave stuff on the roof of the van. I have to double check me. All right, all clear. Yeah, the local, whatever it is, city, the mayor, whoever, has decided, okay, they can be here. But, we don't fool anybody. Cops know. People know who are aware and pay attention that you're, that you're staying in your vehicle. But the average person, up until the last, I'd say, year or so, because it's gotten a lot more prevalent van life and car dwelling. But the average Joe, man, they don't, they don't know. I had a jump on the job the other day. Um, he was talking, he said, yeah, man, I noticed uh, your van, and, uh, you got some kind of rack on top. Now, I'm in a minivan. As low as a minivan's roof is, I mean, damn, you know, he's a pretty tall guy. Or maybe he just, I don't know, but 
I thought it was kind of, but see, uh, it's got what it's got. It's got what it's called. Um, I think it's pay value, something like that, to where. All right, you take like. You want a red Camaro. And a man, or, no, let's we'll say some, a popular, not a popular color. You want a green Camaro. Because you don't think you've seen many green Camaros. As soon as you get to green Camaro, every, every other Camaro you see is green. So that's right. That's how it is. I, I live in my vehicle. So I can recognize other vehicle dwellers, whatever stage they're in, the beginning stages, whatever. There's tails. There's tails in this lifestyle. And I'm pretty sure that's what the police look for: the tails. So, one, you're living in the public. It's like a Cat Williams. Don't you know I can see you? It's like that. So. <laughs> it's obvious. But we're trying not to make it look as obvious. That's why I talk about parking in places that you should be, that you're expected to be. You know, the truck stops, the the the, the cracker barrels, and so forth, because you're expected to be there. Uh, thank God. I mean, I ain't gotta say it, but it's been cool while I've been uh, it's been it's been cool at the kill spot. Thank you for that. But when you're where you're supposed to be, sorry about that. When you're where you're supposed to be. Truck stops, the other places. Cops rolling through, they're just doing their patrol, man. It's when you're in a place that you're not supposed to be, when you stick out. So, I hope this video has been helpful. Hope you got something out of it. Uh, I'm on my way in to the salt mine to do my thing. And. To all of you, thank thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you for helping the channel grow. Please push this out, push this out, help me ride the algorithm and all that. And uh, I will check back with y'all on the next video. I gotta pay attention. Alright? Man, man.